does the Constitution empower Congress to pass any and every law for the general welfare? Many Americans think it does because of the General Welfare Clause, but supporters of the Constitution during ratification said it did not. Edmund Randolph was a delegate to the Philadelphia Convention. He was initially opposed to the Constitution and refused to sign it. He later changed course and became a strong advocate at the Virginia Ratifying Convention. During those debates, he forcefully countered Patrick Henry's assertion that the General Welfare Clause would give the new government sweeping power. He said, But the rhetoric of the gentleman has highly colored the dangers of giving the general government an indefinite power of providing for the general welfare. I contend that no such power is given. He went on to explain that the first clause of Article 1, Section 8 empowers Congress to collect taxes to pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare. But it doesn't empower them to spend money. He continued, Is this an independent, separate, substantive power to provide for the general welfare of the United States? No, sir. The power to spend money follows. Randolph later went on to say reading the General Welfare Clause as a broad grant of power would violate every rule of construction and common sense. 